Greetings to you. I'm sure you have been welcomed to Helderberg College of Higher Education. I want to extend a special welcome from the Faculty of Theology of this institution. And I trust that your uh, stay here will be beneficial and it will be a pleasant experience. My name is Simbarashi Mushoshi. I am currently the Dean of the Faculty. Uh, and with me are a number of colleagues who will be uh, lecturing in our faculty. Um, let me just introduce them by name. We have um, uh, Dr. Apollis, uh, and uh, he takes uh, modules in missiology, leadership, and uh, a few other modules as well as needed. We also have um, Pastor Chalice, and Pastor Chalice will uh, teach you in the biblical languages, that is your Hebrew, your, your Greek, and he will also uh, take you for other modules that have uh, something to do with biblical interpretation. We have uh, Dr. Dupree, who will take you for your history, your church history, your denominational history, your homiletics, and uh, other uh, modules also as, uh, as assigned. We have uh, other uh, faculty members who currently are sharing their time between our faculty and uh, other responsibilities on campus. We have uh, Dr. Platz, who is also the registrar, but he teaches in the Faculty of Theology as well. And he will take you for your systematic theology uh, and uh, your ethics and a few other modules as well. The president of the institution, Dr. Letsedi, obviously he is the president and much of his time is uh, with his administrative duties. But uh, we are privileged that uh, he also teaches in our faculty. And currently he is teaching for us uh, the apocalyptic studies. And that is the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. We also have the privilege of having on campus the LNG White Research Center, which uh, is actually something which is run by the division. And so we have Dr. Hachalinga, who is the director of uh, that institution uh, on campus, but he also teaches for us uh, specifically the module that deals with uh, the life and teachings of LNG White. And it is a privilege for us to have um, uh, these people who help us in those capacities. The Helderberg College of Higher Education has a chaplain, and his name is uh, Pastor Ben McKenzie. Uh, you probably will interact with him in many other roles that he plays, particularly as chaplain, but he also teaches in our faculty. And so you have the privilege of having many people who have wide experience uh, who will be assisting to develop you uh, into ministers. I take it that uh, you have enrolled into the Faculty of Theology because you sense a calling for ministry. And I want to mention that uh, our purpose of existence as a faculty is to help to train Seventh-day Adventist ministers. And so uh, as you have enrolled, I want to remind you of your calling to pastoral ministry. We speak of uh, your experience as being part of the ordination track. Uh, what is the ordination track? The ordination track is the path that you have chosen when you sense uh, that call to ministry and uh, you come through Helderberg College and eventually you uh, will uh, be uh, absorbed as one of the interns uh, in one of the conferences and after some time you will be ordained. That is the ordination track. That is the pathway from the time that you sense your calling to ministry uh, to the time that you will be ordained to the gospel ministry. It is a process that takes several years and the fact that you have chosen to enroll in the Faculty of Theology means you are on that ordination track. You probably uh, are aware that uh, for admission purposes, you need to have been baptized for at least uh, two years. 
and uh, you also need to have uh, functioned in the church in a way that exposes you to the function of the church, the activities of the church, and uh, perhaps you have uh, sat in, the, uh, in, in church boards just to acquaint you with uh, how church runs. So in a manner of speaking, your ordination track actually began at the time that you were baptized, so to speak, and you started learning of the church. At that time, perhaps you did not sense a, uh, a calling to ministry, but there's a sense in which that pathway that you have taken, it is part of the steps that have led you thus far. And so I want to remind you that uh, you are on this ordination track. And um, this ordination track is important. It is important for you to realize or to keep remembering that you are on the ordination track. Do not let your conduct uh, on this campus or elsewhere uh, derail that uh, ordination track that you have gone on to. I must mention that uh, at the point that you leave this institution and uh, you are seeking to be uh, employed by a conference as an intern, they will require a recommendation from us and we will give a recommendation of uh, how you have carried yourself because the conferences are eager to have uh, as part of their pastoral team people who have integrity and so I would like for you to be aware that uh, in your, uh, you know, as you stay on campus, as you interact with others, your fellow students, as you interact with your lecturers, uh, let us keep the high standards uh, of behavior that are expected uh, of ministers. I will um, uh, remind you that uh, in the prospectus on page 159, beginning from page 159, there are certain standards that are expected specifically of theology students. And so I would like you to acquaint yourself with that section which talks about behavioral expectations uh, of uh, theology students. Uh, it is important. And by the way, I also need to mention that as part of your ordination track, just before you get ordained, usually conferences will again seek for uh, a recommendation from us and uh, we will be happy to give a recommendation to you because we want to see you grow professionally but I want to remind you that uh, you need to live in such a way that you will be deserving of uh, a good recommendation on our part we will give an honest uh, recommendation to those who seek it from us I want to mention also that uh, uh, there is a, a, theology, a theology Students Association that functions within our faculty. The Theology Students Association is an organization that we have. It has officers who are elected by students uh, on a year-to-year -year basis. And the function of that um, association is to help uh, the growth of uh, theology students, their spirituality, they are academic uh, development, professional growth. It also helps them socially as well. So there are a number of functions that uh, this uh, Theolo Theology Students Association, or TSA as it is commonly called, there are a number of, uh, of uh, activities and functions that it, uh, it arranges and, uh, and coordinates for the, uh, this kind of growth for uh, theology students and I want to encourage that uh, when there are such activities that you become part of it We don't know exactly the nature of uh, those activities at this time uh, because of uh, the, uh, the the pandemic and the the lockdown But uh, it could very well be that there will be certain uh, you know activities that will be do will be able to do on a virtual platform and we want to encourage you to do that. One of the activities that they do, uh, and this they do quite uh, you know, uh, frequently uh, under normal circumstances, uh, and this is the, the forum. It's a forum, it it's usually takes place once every week or sometimes we may make it to be once every two weeks. The forum is a time when uh, theology students meet for a sort of assembly, so to speak. And quite often there may be a guest speaker 
who may present something on a you know maybe a theological topic or it may be something uh, that is of a professional nature it could even be a, a pastor who wants to share some uh, you know some information on how to do a particular uh, kind of activity sometimes it is just to meet for a devotional message uh, and sometimes it is for planning purposes just to plan on our uh, on activities for example from time to time we may have um, uh, you, you know a, uh, a banquet uh, for, for theology students and there may be a time when the forum is all about planning for that activity and promoting those activities I want to mention that uh, forum attendance is required of all theology students and so when we announce a forum whether it is a virtual one during these times or when we are able to meet face to face on campus it is a real live event i want to let you know that it is required and attendance to forum is something that uh, is tied to your, uh, your one or two of your modules in other words if you do not attend your forum then you would not be able to successfully complete your uh, your that particular module once again I want to welcome you to the Faculty of Theology and uh, I want to say to you if you have a challenge do not hesitate to talk to one of your lecturers you can talk to me but uh, do make sure that you find assistance where you need to have that we also want to encourage you to take your studies seriously because from the very first semester, the grades that you, uh, that you get at that particular point, they will have something to do with your graduation. In other words, do not wait until the end of the year and then you try to get serious. This is a little more, a little different from high school. So for those of you who may not have had tertiary uh, education, I want you to know that every assignment that you do, uh, it counts towards your final grade and sometimes you may be able to improve it by submitting later assignments but the one that you have uh, done you have slackened on will definitely have an impact on your final grade and so I would like to encourage you that uh, from the very beginning you uh, take your studies seriously if you have a challenge with any, anything in your modules please consult with your lecturer and uh, uh, ask for assistance and it is best if you can ask for that assistance as early as possible do not wait until exam is just around the corner because there may be certain fundamental principles that you will need uh, for you to be able to understand the rest of the module once again welcome to the faculty of theology and i want to uh, wish you the richest of god's blessings thank you